What I wanted to, what I wanted to talk about today is um, shortcuts. What makes this even more exciting is Apple Intelligence coming out soon. So the way all of that Apple Intelligence stuff is going to be working is by App Intense, which is the same thing that powers the Shortcuts app. So every application can kind of define, you know, here is a bunch of actions that I can do as this application. So I would encourage everybody to think about your app as a command line app, think about what kind of subcommands it would have, and go ahead and start building these things today, right? People can still use them as shortcuts, people can still use them with the action button, they show up instead of the, the Siri suggestions, all that good stuff. And then when Apple Intelligence comes out, if your app is already ready to go, you're ready to participate in this system, right? When somebody starts using Siri to then request these different tasks, if your app has these app intents that describe this kind of functionality, your app gets to come along for the ride. Uh, if your app doesn't have these intents, then well, your app's not coming along for the ride, right? So when this comes out, I think it's gonna be a big deal. People are very excited about it. So let's see how much we can automate getting coffee for our commute. And there's a few questions I need to answer in here. So we're going to be ordering from our favorite orders. We're gonna be ordering our morning drive order. The store is going to be the Stanton store. And we wanna get this in the drive-through. So looking into my automations, I can make a new one. Uh, it turns out the system knows a lot about me. Um, you might think, let's just do this at 10 o'clock in the morning or nine o'clock in the morning, whenever we wake up. But really we want this before we commute and hey, look, the system understands before I commute. We wanna do this before we go to work and we wanna do this uh, 10 minutes before we do so. And we will choose our coffee commute automation. So now in the morning, before I leave for work, before my commute, only if I have events in Charlottesville, this thing's gonna have my coffee ready for me when I leave, right? That's pretty freaking cool. And so when we, when Apple Intelligence comes out, if you ask the system, I, I had to come in here and program this, right? I had to use an if statement, like some kind of nerd. Uh, wouldn't it be cool if I could just say, you know, hey Siri, every morning, if I have an event in Charlottesville before my commute, go ahead and order my Dunkin' Donuts for me. And what Siri's gonna be able to do is hear all that language and then understand based on, you know, you can kind of see it, you know, with these little blue parameters right here. And I've just kind of answered all these questions with my voice and Siri will understand how to take my, my prompt and then take all these different actions and then build that pipeline for me automatically so I didn't have to come in here and type this up all, all ahead of time. I could just say what I wanted, right? So stuff like, hey, when my wife texts me she's leaving, go ahead and DoorDash dinner tonight. Um, look at my calendar next week, find a date where all my friends are available and book us a hotel within this price range at this location. Um, but we can start doing this now, get ready for it, uh, debug it, see what's useful, experiment a bit. And then once iOS 18 drops and Apple Intelligence comes out, uh, we're ready to go.